Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm chapter 99. The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, he is high above all people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. I just want to encourage you this morning that uh, even if we go to the New Testament, uh, the book of Peter says, Be holy even as I am holy, saith the Lord. We live in a generation of people that have compromised the holiness of God. We've brought uh, God's holiness down to a man's level, forgetting that Isaiah said, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so far are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. I'm glad this morning I serve an incredible God who's not made after my own understanding. Way too many churches today are making a comfortable God that people can live with. What I see here is a holy God that we can only approach through the holiness of Jesus Christ. It says to tremble before him. Uh, have you ever been in the presence of someone that you thought was great and boy, you just had that awe and uh, nervous feeling about being there? Well, multiply that a thousand times over when you stand before God one day. But I wanna stand before God one day and hear a well done, good and faithful servant. I hope you do too this morning. He is a God of holiness. There's only one characteristic of God that's repeated three times. In fact, the angels fly around his throne saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. I wonder what that holy God thinks of the unholy living of uh, God's people today, uh, churches today, accepting everything in the world. Boy, it, it's sad to me. We need to get back to a place where we have an awe uh, just looking at his holiness and seeing him for who he is and what he does. There used to be a day when people uh, feared God. Now that doesn't mean cower, but it does mean that we come before his presence humbled because of who he is, uh, trembling, and he's the one that'll strengthen. He's the one that'll uphold us. We need to get back to that place where we understand holiness means we're separated from the world. We don't look like the world. We don't talk like the world. We don't act like the world. I'm just constantly amazed how many churches and Christians look like the world, they act like the world, talk like the world, and then they expect somebody to uh, somehow see through all that and see that Jesus Christ lives in them. No, if we serve a holy God, we're gonna have a holy life. I think of Stephen in the New Testament. When he was faced with trials, they said that they looked on his face as a face of an angel. Uh, I believe that he was reflecting the holiness of God as the angels of heaven do. We're celebrating the Christmas season here. And boy, uh, you look at the angels, they came down and uh, just praised and worshiped and directed people, the, the humble shepherds, to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He wasn't just a plastic baby in a manger. And by the way, I hope that's not who Jesus is to you today. I hope he is the holy, heavenly Lord, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that you look up to. Worship, praise, bring your prayers before him and accept his will as perfect. Our will is not always gonna line up with his will, but according to Psalm, 99 here, his will is perfect and we need to recognize that. We need to realize who he is. We need to get that relationship with him in the proper order. We need to make sure that he is high and lifted up. I love what John the Baptist said, he must increase, I must decrease. Is that the way we're living? Are we living like this worldly Christianity? It says, as long as I increase, I'm good with God, but when that stops, I'm done with God. No, 
Let's today make sure that we worship him in holiness. God bless you and a Merry Christmas.